Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen from GamePron and I'm here with Jay Wilbur from Epic Games. We're at E3 2011 and Gears of War 3 is looking kind of amazing. So what was new from Gears of War at, at this expo? Oh, it's smoking hot. Um, we've released, uh, the guys have come out, we've shown um, uh, at the beginning at the Microsoft conference, we showed uh, Ice-T came on. Um, we've uh, announced that Ice-T has uh, is voicing one of our main characters in the game. Ice-T has also uh, got together with his band, Body Count, and we had a great party, um, developed a new song that's gonna be in the game. We're totally excited about this relationship. Uh, from a gameplay standpoint, we've made significant improvements on the engine and the gameplay side of it. The game is butter smooth, um, and, and it's just a, just a fantastic amount of fun. Uh, we're so, it, it's clearly one of the big games here at the show going to be one of the big games coming out uh, this holiday season. We couldn't be more excited. We were checking out the new, uh, there's a new gameplay mode that's been announced uh, uh, this week. Horde, is a Horde 2.0? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, very cool. With the, putting the fortifications up, um, adds a whole new dimension to the, to the, the, the already smoking hot Horde play. Uh, it's just, it really is fun. It's probably one of the, one of, some of the best fun you can have, you know, sitting on your couch with your clothes on. That's a big call. Well, yeah. Although some people may play it with their clothes off. I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I'm, we don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> what else have you seen around the show that's been interesting for you? Oh, well, uh, let's see. We're walking around the show, there's some, some fantastic titles out there. It's going to be a very, very interesting uh, inch holiday season coming up. Uh, really interesting to see like what Nintendo's doing, once again, shaking the marketplace up. Um, we, we had the opportunity to go touch and, and feel the, the hardware, and it really does, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. We're very excited about what they're doing there. Also really excited about what Sony's doing in the handheld market with the uh, Vita. Um, they've come out, they've announced their price points. It's a really, really cool hot machine. Uh, also looking, really looking forward to see what comes out of that. And I speak that, saying that not only as somebody in the industry, as a game player. I'm really looking forward to having these devices in my hands or on my, in my living room and enjoying them. So talking about Sony and they're moving into the mobile gaming market and, and revamping that, you guys have also been doing some pretty impressive things in the mobile gaming market, both through Chair and through some other, with the Unreal Engine uh, 3. So what's Chair been up to recently? Oh, Chair is hard at work um, continuing to expand the Infinity Blade universe. Infinity Blade um, started out as this fun little project within the Chair organization uh, and blossomed into this smoking fantastic in, uh, iPhone application or iOS application. Um, the game shipped about six months ago and to date we've already earned, as a developer, um, around 10, over $10 million. Uh, it's really been a successful product for us. Uh, it really shows that these devices in our pocket are capable of generating or, and producing proper AAA high production quality value um, titles. And we're really excited, we're going to continue to press on that and expand on that. We've been doing a lot of work with Unreal Engine 3 licensees who are also making triple, uh, AAA high quality products. And there's some products out there that will rival Infinity Blade's looks and play um, coming from our licensees, not only on the Unreal Engine 3 side, but on the UDK side. And by the way, as a plug, the UDK is a free version of Unreal Engine 3 that anybody can get their hands on to test. It's free to test, www.udk.com. I'm sorry, I had to say that by contract. If not, my boss will hit me. <laughs> so, so can we anticipate more Apple Design Awards coming towards you know, epic type games in the future? Well, if I was my decision, then yes. But it's not my decision, so I really can't say. <laughs> We're well, I can tell you that we're not stopping in the mobile space. So what has been your absolute highlight of the week? If you could pick one thing that was completely brilliant this week, what's it been? Uh, the show's about over, the ending. <laughs> <laughs> I can go home. <laughs> well, My feet hurt. <laughs> no, it's, uh, you know, just what... Uh, I, I would say the entire um, game community we all come together this one year and we celebrate what we do. And we all have an opportunity to see what we're all working on. It's great to see this, this industry is um, continuing to grow. It's vibrant. There's insane amounts of money um, in, the, in the marketplace um, being spent not only on development but marketing. Um, and it just shows you how, how vibrant and uh, alive our marketplace is. And that's, as somebody in the business, it's very exciting.
Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.